Howdy! Hello! Um, so I'm just, I've tried to put together <laughs> another one of these vlog things. Um, so pretty much to set some context for what you're about to see because I'm recording this part in retrospect. But um, I'm currently on holiday from work because of Golden Week and so I spent one of my days going around the town where I'm living and going to a neighbouring town where they have a nice garden. Um, it was all pretty spontaneous, I didn't really have much of a plan, but it worked out pretty well. Um, and so I just I recorded some footage while I was out and what you're going to see is that footage with me speaking over it a bit, speaking about my day. And hopefully I can show my neighbouring area in a nice positive light and talk about it a little bit. Thanks. So the town I'm living in is called Yotomi and it's a really nice town. It's pretty somewhat rural and I just I really like the atmosphere all of it, especially on a sunny day. It looks pretty beautiful. Lots of um, little patches of farmland, but also lots of really nice houses. Some looking quite traditional Japanese, some looking quite modern or western. Um, I visited some temples in the local area as well, and they were quite quaint, but really sweet as well. This is just my local area. There's not much more to it, just a nice place. The main thing I wanted to do that day was visit a neighbouring town called Nagashima and so I took a train over to it, it's just one stop away and I absolutely love the train ride and I see this train ride every single time I go to work because it's on the way but you just get this gorgeous view of the train crossing the river which bleeds out into the ocean and I don't know if it comes across great on video but the river just has this perfect almost green bluish tinge to it but I think it's just really nice it makes a beautiful sight Nagashima itself is also a nice little town I walked around for a bit got some lunch and saw what the town was like and I eventually arrived across these really pretty pink little flowers and I realised I had arrived upon something called Nibbana no Sato, I believe um, a little garden park you could pay to go into and so I decided to because I thought that would be a nice way to spend my day and they, it was just filled to the room with so many beautiful flowers it was, it was a really beautiful place there was one particular route you could go in that cost a little bit extra that was just filled and filled with so many colours, so many hanging flowers it was like extremely beautiful and the park itself in general was also just very beautiful lots of beautiful buildings, lots of beautiful flowers thrown about nice little cafes you could go to it was a really nice place but um, something that caught my eye when I arrived in is that I could see this like Mount Fuji on a stick high up in the sky. So I walked over and sure enough it was just almost like a traction ride that you could unride. Where you get slowly lifted up into the air on a revolving Mount Fuji sky deck thing. And um, you get this beautiful view. So I'll just play some of the video of me being lifted up here. And just yeah, just it looked very beautiful from up there, all of it. It's really nice, definitely worth it. Eventually the night came around and the big thing about this park is that in the evening they do an illumination. So I stuck around till it got dark so that I could watch. And um, I sat by the river that goes down the middle of the park. And I guess I'll, I'll let you see it here, I'll just let it play. Um, the music and the lights themselves are much better in person than they come across on this video. But it was really beautiful, I'll let it play for a bit.
watching it did almost feel a little bit melancholy just because um you know, I looked around at all the people looking at the lights, going around this park, the beautiful sight, and everyone was there with a family, or with a partner, or with a friend. And it, just because I'm quite new to this town, I had, I'd just come here by myself. So it did feel a little bit melancholy, but it was still beautiful nonetheless. And I guess that's pretty much the end of what the day was for me. I'm hoping that, um... I can make some friends in the future, some people around here that I can go out with. So I don't need to go to these beautiful parks alone, I can go there with someone. But solo travelling isn't the worst. And I actually have met some people, and I'll let a little funny video play after this, or play now. Um, I went to a bar and the bar owner there is very kind, he talked to me a lot, he's the kindest person I've met here. And he ended up driving me home in his little tuk-tuk. Which is not what I expected to see in Japan, but nonetheless, it was very fun. So that's been very sweet, and I'm hoping I can make lots more friends like him. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this little vlog of my day around the town, and me going up in a giant flying Mount Fuji. That was a highlight for me. Um, and this is just how I spent the day of my Golden Week. I don't think every day it will be as eventful as this, otherwise I'll be out of money in no time. But yeah, thank you for watching, and bye-bye.